Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire Quick Tip video. My name is Jose Libeguirre and today I am going to show you how to control the scroll bars from different visualizations so you can synchronize them programmatically. So uh, here I have three visualizations, three scatter plots and the y-axis uh, runs on the same scale. I am looking at some oil and gas data, my and different measures. So if I want to synchronize this manually, it's going to be very hard for me to, to kind of align the, the, the slides. But if I click the sync button, then everything is going to align properly. Another feature that I implemented is that if you want to select, it doesn't matter which one you select. So the last one that you pick is going to take it as a reference for the other ones to apply. So let's peel the onion and see how this was implemented. Okay, so I have in this text area, don't pay attention to these controls, just these two buttons that are the ones that are controlling the scroll bars. So the first one is going to sync the scroll bars and the other one is a reset button that is gonna settle the scroll walls to its default value. So let's start with the sync button. And the way it works is if I edit my HTML, I'm going to see at this very bottom the, the control that I'm using. So I had a hidden control. If I remove the styles, I'm going to uh, remove this in style completely. And this is an input control. It's, an, it's a property control. This property control, input property control is uh, holding the title of the last active visualization. So I'm gonna unhide it so you, so you can see how it works. Um, this is called the active visual title. That's the way I call the, the document property. And if you notice, if I select any of these uh, uh, selectors and I move my mouse over the sync button, it's going to change or replace this value that I have in my input form. So again, if I select this one and then I go to my sync button, it's going to take this title. And this title is important or is required for the Python script to pick which was the last active visualization that I'm going to take as a reference and then take the values from the scroll bar or the zoom slider and apply across the other ones. So let's look at the sync button. When I click it, is going to sync the, the data. So let, let me uh, open and start. Uh, it's uh, fairly small, but uh, the first step is I am using these classes, axis ranger, scatter plot, and then I am taking um, placeholder visual, I, I call it visual X because that's going to be my active visualization and I am getting the title from my document properties. And then I'm going to run through the visualizations in the active page to make that visualization the visualization that I'm going to use as a reference. And then I'm going to cast not only this, but these other three variables, AB uh, visualizations. And these visualizations are variables that uh, are as an input parameter. In my case, I have scatterplot. If you have other visualization type, then you have to change this. Um, and once I have a reference, all I have to do is just pick the, the y-axis zoom range. And this is my zoom xy, I call that variable. And then I'm going to get from that zoom range, the low and the high, the actual values, from my axis, axis range that's gonna return this axis range uh, for my uh, active visualization. And the last, the last step is to apply that setting of that zoom to each of the uh, scatter plots, Y axis zoom range. And that's it. So don't forget to add these parameters and uh, to make it run. Now, the um, reset button is very similar as well. I'm going to click that. I'm going to edit. And it's the same. It's just applying the default range. That's it. 
Now, the last part that I want to show you is how I added uh, on mouse over event to this button to take the reference of the last visualization. So uh, for that, I have I added this JavaScript. Let's look at the code. And the JavaScript basically is taking the last uh, active visualization and then uh, passing that value is taking the the value uh, uh, which is the inner text and then that will hold the title of this element and finally i'm just going to pass that value programmatically to this input box so it can be transferred from javascript to a document property that the iron python is going to take i have an article here um, it has all the details. You can copy paste the code uh, step by step. And um, I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next Dr. Quick Tip video.